Hey everyone, it's P25 Hailfire again. Thanks for stopping by. Today I am doing another specialty hangar challenge. So I'm running all missile weapons today. So we will see how this goes. We are in beacon rush mode on the valley map. I like to start off with my Rhino because I can get to beacons quickly and also it has the same weapons as a death button Griffin would have. The same uh, two Orcans and two Pinatas so it moves very quickly and then it can do a lot of damage by surprise. So I will see if I can get an advantage on any of these guys here. I think we have a Stalker here. I can't get to him because of his stealth. But I might be able to get this guy coming in behind him. See what happens. Yeah, I think I got him. There we go. And here comes the Stalker again. We can finish him off too. Oh, two kills in a row. Nice. See if we can make it three. Three. Oh, check that out. That is so cool. Alright, let's pick another target here. I would go through that tunnel, but I can't see. Just the way the camera is positioned here, I can't really see that well. But let's see if we can get this guy. I think he's coming out. So if we can get him coming out, or just around the corner here. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was a dash bot. I couldn't see through all the smoke. I think it was a Bulgasari. Let's follow this Lancelot into the tunnel. They're probably going to keep trying to protect this central beacon, so I'm pretty sure they'll keep spawning in here. Yep. Oh, that big Lancelot is blocking everything. I couldn't, I couldn't get any, or much of any damage on him. See if I can shoot around the corner at this guy. Oh, aphids. Whoa. Those are strong. He's going to take me out here. Okay. Wow, they're pushing both of these beacons. I'm not sure which one I should go for. Mm, I think the central one's probably most important. Yeah, let's go. Death button. And see if we can take out this Leo. Wow, my whole clip, and I still couldn't take this big guy out. They have so much armor. I think he's gonna... Oh, just... Wow. Uh-oh, we've got somebody taking Beacon A here. Uh... Oh. I have my teammate paying attention as well, so... That works for us. Okay, now that I'm over here, I need to figure out what would be the best. I think I'm going to follow this guy. If he has the same idea as me, I, I think he does. Oh yes, I wanted to add, I noticed this guy's running an ember. I have gotten an ember, and I am in the process of upgrading it right now. I think I'm at level 7, and I'm working on 8, and I want to get it to level 10. And then I'll start using it in my videos. I'm very excited because the Ember is a really powerful weapon. And I can't wait to see what this thing does. Because I've always just been able to watch people using them. Okay, we have two people. I think they're all running to Lumbus? I can't tell. But whatever it is, it's very difficult to uh, get any forward progress. We're holding three beacons, which is good, but we have to make some progress. Oh! That is one way to do some damage. But he's going to get... Oh, I hope this guy turns around. There we go. Well, I got taken out, but uh, I think my buddy there with the ember will be able to handle him. Yeah, let's see, a Regatka. The Regatka might be some trouble, but for right now, I think this beacon needs some protection. I'm wondering if I should back up and try and get a better vantage point. 
I think so. I have the range, and I need to get away from those Hydras anyway. I don't think I'll get far enough to move away from the Hydras, but I think this will work. Uh, oh, this is not good. I'm not strong enough to take on both of these. The Trident is very powerful, but it has too long of a reload time for close range. That's why I was trying to back up, but I'm the only one defending this beacon right now, so I don't think I have much of a choice. There we go. Have some lighter support. So let's see if we can get up higher here and uh, get a better vantage point. See if we can pick off some people, like this guy right here. Nice. Okay. Now this guy, the last guy, everybody's going to be going for him. But I have him lined right up in my sights here. And they've taken him out before I could fire. Excellent. <laughs> uh, I think that'll be game. I'm curious how much damage I did. I think I'll do one more game after this and I'll try out the Hydras because the Hydras are just so effective now. But I'm curious to see how they do. 746,000 damage. Not bad at all. Second place. Not bad. Alright, I know the Hydra is kind of a boring uh, weapon. But I'm going to try and use it more actively so it's fun to watch. If I can possibly do that, that'll be my challenge. Run all missiles and make any robot running Hydras interesting to watch. Uh, so let's see how that goes. Alright, here we go. One more Beacon Rush game. Uh, we're on the power plant, which is another great map for missiles. So what I think I'm going to do is start with my Rhino again. Now the only change I made is I switched my Fury Trident for a Fusion with Hydras. But who knows, on this map we may not even get to the Hydras, depending on how we do, because you can have some great games on the power plant with, uh, with missile weapons, especially Orcans and Pinatas. I really like this one spot right here, because there's only one way in, one way out, and anybody who comes around the corner has to deal with Splash. So if anybody comes around here, I'll be able to hit them with everything. Uh, just like that. So let's see who else wants to come around here and get some. See, it forces the enemy to go alternate, in an alternate, uh, direction. So they have to either go around or something like that. Oh, this guy got me. But it allows you to maintain these beacons. The beacon B and the one behind you. The problem now is figuring out how to move forward. I think right now I just need to hold this one. So I'll have to use my other death button. Because they're really pushing hard. Whoa! Ah, I didn't lock on. Oh, man. See, I lost him in the middle of his jump because I did not lock on, and he was able to do a ton of damage. I could have been returning the favor, but I missed that opportunity. I think right now I just need to back up and preserve my two other bots, so I think I actually will use the Hydras. We'll see how this goes. That is not a lot of damage. Let's see, I have somebody else with Hydra, so let's see what we can all do together. I think a lot of these people are like behind cover or something, or using a shield. Hmm.
Okay, there we go. We're getting a bit of damage in. It's tough to pick a target when you're so far away you can't see them. Because you don't know if they're hiding or not. I would help this guy, but I can't barely... I can barely get through his energy shield. So... I can take this guy out. Alright. Let's start being a bit more proactive here. Oh no. Now I have to I have to run. I have to stay away from this carnage here. Luckily I think he's gonna get picked up by these other guys. I just need to find a target to focus on. Oh yeah, he's coming for me. Ah! My shield will only help me until he gets within. Yeah, he's gonna take me out. Or not! I. Oh! <laughs> I was about to say, I've been saved! But not quite. Okay, let's see. I think this will be a good. Quick robot. I'm trying to see if I can sneak over here and take one of their beacons. Got caught up on that corner there. See, there's nobody at this beacon, and they only have three people left. So unless... Oh, four. So unless they have everybody... Oh! Oh! I may have to stay behind. I've got to get over to that beacon, so we have three. Because you have to maintain more beacons than the other team. You can see their bar is much more filled. I'm not going to be able to make any progress here. Ugh. This is a sketchy situation. <laughs> I just want the poor beacon. Someone please help me. Okay. Oh, this is not good at all. I don't think anybody's focusing over here. So I'm kind of having to do this all on my own. The guy with the hydras is right on me. All I need to do is switch this beacon. Even if I don't survive, I just need to change the beacon. Ah! Right at the end. Okay, I got the beacon. And that's not going to help me. Hmm. Let me see here. Okay, it's three on five. We can do this. We just have to take these guys out. The question is how? Because I've used up all my robots with Orkins already. Hopefully this gives me a clear shot. Straight to... No, he came back. Okay, we do have three beacons. That's what we were trying to do. Oh wow, these Hydras are so effective. He must have much stronger... Hydras than I do, because I only have level 8s. And he is hiding behind the building. I thought I could shoot at him. Oh! Oh, this is not good. I'm just trying to switch this beacon. So we have 4. I may get taken out early. That would not be good, but it might happen. Yeah. I tried. I did a lot of beacon switching, which is good. And they're only down to one person, so I think this will be game. Right here. Oh. I'm trying to switch over to the best camera to get all the action. And I think this will do it. There we go. So unless he comes back, that should be the end of the game. And I think I still did pretty well, even though I got taken out a little early. Yeah, I think he's not coming back, so that's it. All right, two wins in a row, which is great. Let's see how much damage I did. Not very much, to be honest. That is not a great score. Yeah, last place. So, I mean, I did struggle on that one, but honestly, I just think I made some poor decisions in how I used the robots and also that... Uh, that fusion with the hydras just did not work at all. I got very unlucky with that one when the carnage with the thunders noticed me. But the good thing is I got four beacons, which is uh, pretty good for me. So yeah, 
based on those two games, I would say if you have Tridents or if you have Hydras, um, you take a look at this video and you make up your decision on what you'd rather run. But I hope this game, or these couple games, were entertaining for you all. I really enjoy doing this. Uh, I hope you like this video and stay tuned for more, especially for my Ember. I am so excited about that. I will have some games uh, up on the channel for you guys in the next week or so because these updates are so long, these upgrades. So I think I still have about four days of upgrades to go, but we'll see. And I'm really excited to get started with that weapon. All right, thanks again for stopping by, everyone. Until next time, this is P25Hailfire, signing off. Thank you.